You may be wondering what is a half flap joint and why do you need to know how to cut one? If you're planning to do any DIY projects around your house, you'll definitely need to know this joint. A half lap joint is where half of each board's material at each end is removed and they overlap one over another at 90 degree connection. Half lap joints provide a sturdier wood to wood connection than a standard butt joint or pocket screws. There are several different methods that you can use, but the method I'll be showing you in this one will be the sliding miter saw and chisel method to make a half lap joint. We were building new gates for our friends, so we wanted to document the half laps with sliding miter saw using two by fours. The tools needed here are saw horses, sliding miter saw, a sharp chisel, a hammer, rolling stand to support the longer pieces of wood. The first step is to cut the boards down to the final size. Then you wanna set the miter saw cut depth, setting it to the depth of the two by four. So we needed the saw to cut 0.75 inches from the 1.5 inch thickness. The sliding miter saw has a depth stop that will stop the saw blade at a certain height. One downside to cutting a half lap on a miter saw is the circular shape of the blade. As you're sliding the blade back and forth, your blade won't go all the way to the correct depth on the back part of the board. It may sound very technical, but it just means that you need a sacrificial board behind your piece of lumber so that the circular blade cuts the desired depth throughout your entire piece. You want to use a cutoff board to get the depth right on the saw. It's easier to cut more away than ruin a board by cutting too deep. Some pressure treated boards have slightly different depths and you may need to tweak your depths for thicker boards, the cutting curves. So with the depth set and your board mark for three and a half inches to start the cut, you're ready to make your half lap joint. Your first cut will always be the farthest back, then you'll work your way to the edge of the board. You'll make many cuts or curves in the board. You try not to leave anything greater than one eighth of an inch for easier removal with the chisel. And once all the cuts are done, you can take your hammer and tap the end of the curse to remove them. Now you should be able to remove most of the material this way, other than small nibs at the bottom of the board. Now you can take your chisel and slide it across the grain to smooth out any bumps. If you're using hardwood species, you may have to use a rasp to get a cleaner bottom. Usually we start with one top and one side so that we can test fit the pieces together after they've been cut. As we said before, sometimes pressure treated wood is slightly different sizes. In this case, the width of the boards were slightly more than three and a half, which means we needed to take a little bit more off the edge for a 90 degree join to come together. It took about an hour to make all the cuts and another 15 to 20 minutes to finish all the remaining tweaks. For this project, the next step is to dry assemble the gate and then glue clamp and screw the half lap joints together. And if you want to read how the other two methods are with the hand saw and chisel method or the circular saw and chisel method, then you can read the rest on our blog. We'll have a link in the description below. And let us know in the comments, what is your favorite method for creating half lap joints for your backyard projects? And thanks for watching.